Hello, boys, babes, and every bean in between. I would like to begin this segment with stating I made a mistake. I made a small error and did not think to launch the recording application while it was occurring. So, I offer you my mistake. There's a raid. Um, plus side, I think it's the last wave, but I caught the guy in a boat. And I'm scared to kill him. So, yeah. I spent a lot of time sniping them from the top of a hill. Don't worry about it. But, he is... Okay, hold on, first we're gonna sleep, because it's dark. Um, but, yeah. Made a few small mistakes. On the other note, I did possibly make a whole bunch of villagers. And have done a whole bunch of trading. And might possibly have died and lost everything, but you know, it's fine, I'm rebuilding. Um. But yeah. We have a pet. Ow! Rude. Ow! I can't decide if I want to kill him or not. Because I don't know if there's another wave after him, because I didn't keep count of how many... Waves had passed, so I'm considering pacifying him and keeping him as a pet. But I'm not sure how one goes about that, so I might try to move him into a minecart and pacify him later. He charges a crossbow really efficiently. But yeah, so, we've been busy. I died. It was great. Um, not really. But, I have been working on librarians, and I'm going to continue working on librarians. But, I got this guy, because it looks sweet, Aqua Affinity. Because there's a whole bunch of water out near my base, so it's going to be nice to have that. But then I was like, cool, let's flip grade him. I got Fortune 3. And I was working on this guy. Before I settled on Protection 4, he also had offered me another Fortune 3. So I was like, hmm, nah, let's pass. And then he also still gives me a Fortune 3. So that's pretty sweet. Um, And then we have Projectile Protection 4 and Infinity, which I think is a pretty funny pairing. Um, and then we got this guy, who I haven't put in things yet. Also an Aqua Affinity. I thought I didn't. I think it was because it was cheaper. I think it was because it was cheaper. No, it's not that it's cheaper. I just made a mistake there. Okay, well, this guy's on Breaking 3, though, which I may or may not have bought an obnoxious amount of it, and Looting 2 I can upgrade as we go. I'm going to put in a couple more cartographers after I have enough gold to do so. So that I can do the glass trading trick that Grian does, which is you grab a whole bunch of this good old glass, and then you run over here and you make it into panes, and you sell it to the other guys because panes sell for a better deal than the glass does initially. So you can go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and do that. So I've been doing that on the off occasion when I get the opportunity. But they all have different prices. Because, like, I think this guy's six. Nope, they're all five now. Sweet. Um, well, that one was five, that was four, that was six for a hot minute while I was doing this. So that is a bunch of the stuff that has been occurring. I'm going to keep remembering to close these so they can't, the um, pillagers, if they do show up more, do not auto-path to these guys. Because that would be tragic. I do need to get the one that I have sitting out infected and stuff. Because he... Was a baby when I got him out, but I had to sacrifice the poor fool. Um, do I actually have the ability to go ahead and fix him? Do I have any apples? Aha! I do have apples. I am going to get more gold, though. But, we will continue to be doing this process so that I can get more goods and goodies and all the great things. So that we can continue upon our merry, merry way. And so that I can get more just other building supplies and really good tools to use. So I think I'm going to spend a little time running around the nether with my fortune pick and mining more gold out there. Because we got the space to do it more towards the newer portal. Because I'd like to explore more out there anyway. So I'm going to do that. Go get some more gold. Not to do this today anymore, but like once he's done, I'll throw him in cartography and let him run on his way. And then we're going to go back to the other island and do some more work on the buildings because I would like to put in the more of the houses. 
So I actually might work more on my stonemasons so that I can get terracotta from them. But we will see. First things first, actually. Love me some good old bricks. But we're going to keep working on that. Get all the stuff and things and move right along. And I will see you guys once I get that done. Bye now. You know, I was looking for gold. But this, this is a, this is a good deal. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take this. Yes. Is there any more? Oh, it was a single. I mean, we found some gold. Most, most of netherite, netherrack, whatever this is. That's some gold. But hey, I'll take it. I'll take a seminar roll. Am I walking home with a singular ancient debris and a couple stacks of nuggets? Maybe. Yeah, no, that's what I'm doing. Um, didn't have, didn't find much. Just a lot of lava, quartz, a lot of netherrack, you know, the usual stuff. But yeah, so. We're gonna go drop that gold off, throw some of this netherrack in some furnaces, and then get to building. Woo! Alrighty, so now that we are back here at this lovely location that is my island, we got some work to do. So first things first, I got some calcite. Sweet, sweet. I think I can finish the next layer of the lighthouse, which will not take long. If I can't, I'll go get some more. I know right where some more is. But, we built this thing last week. And I'd like to go and build another one, or two, or three, on this island, so that the island doesn't look so empty. Like, it, it's pretty. I want to terraform it, make it look nicer, and etc. Make it look like when the tides rise, it washes through the center, so like, that farming stuff's gotta go, which is fine. Um, but, I'm gonna like, wipe out this wall here and fill all of this up, and like, make it so there's some caves down there where the air bubbles are, so that I can get in. But... Yeah, so I want to come over here and put at least two houses. Let's use some spruce to mark out where the legs will go for this. But I like how wonky and odd that one is over there. So I'm going to try and do something similar here. If I take this down into the sand, so it looks like it's actually thoroughly supported, and jump down. And come over here and do it on a slight angle. And I'm putting it one deep so at least if I do terraform some and take off a couple layers of dirt, it's still going to have its thing there. Okay, and then I want another one here. I like the challenge, though, of having to build on a different angle than I'm used to. So... And then I want to put one here. And I think that'll be good for this one. I mean, I'll come in and put like some other silly pillars in for it later on. But I want to come over here and do a different house that's a little bit more in the water already. So like it'll look like I don't have a shovel, do I? Dang it. I should have got myself a new shovel when I was back at the villagers. I'll have to do that later. Alrighty, so we take this and we pull it up. I know I'm drowning, stop killing me. Um, and we go like that. It's so like this one's not gonna be quite as high up. But, we have this one sitting here. At a much more stark angle contrast for one of the walls. And then like, right here for the next one. And then I'd like to bring it at a less contrasting angle this way. I guess we gotta eat. Okay. Oop, this one's too high. And like, it'll be at different levels at different points. But, and then I want one that goes here. And so we take that up a couple of levels. And then we'll play with those, and I think I'll put another one in somewhere around here and bring the dock system in some more. But, oh, excuse me, there we are. I really like this idea, and I'm going to play with those, and I will bring you back once I got like, the platforms in and the different levels for that put in. And I'm going to get another shovel. I need a shovel. And boom, 
there's another layer. So let's go pop down here and take more of a look at it. I got distracted. I was supposed to work in the houses. The house now has a floor, but then I was like, oh, wait, I have the calcite. Let's finish the tower. Um, yeah, no, I think it looks good. I gotta figure out I'm gonna do the next level, which is gonna be like the lighting part. I don't think I'm gonna have actual functioning light in there because I'm not that good at redstone to make it that compact. But I think it looks pretty good. But we'll get that next part figured out. I'm gonna make it kind of stick out just a bit so it's kind of like hanging out on both sides this is gonna be the only like sturdy looking staple thing on this island so yeah but let's go pop over to the other build because i'm working on them i swear um i gotta make pathways out here but i haven't started that one yet but i did oh dear i knew i was gonna do that i did start this one so it has a floor it has some awkward little supports that really don't look like they're doing much. I kind of want to go add to them so they look less flimsy. But we got a floor. We got multiple le levels on here. I am going to add to this. I think what we're going to do is have this one be second level and then have a third level that kind of staggers back up onto itself. And then with this one, I think I'm just going to do like two flat floors so we actually have something that's not entirely the staggered because that one's super staggered. This one's mm, kind of staggered and I want this one to be not so staggered. So, yeah, um, I'm not sure what colors I'm going to do. I kind of want to go and use light blue terracotta for it because I love this color and I feel like we need some colorfulness to it, but I am considering doing more light gray or white just because I feel like this island be a little bit more washed out on color tones and not so pretty, but I might do blue on part of it or the light blue on part of it so it has a nice brighter tone to it because one of my stone masons is selling me that so i can get that pretty quickly without having to grind for the dye so i think i think we'll do it. i think we'll do like the lower half of this part in the light blue just because it's such a nice color it it really is just such a pretty color um i like the washed out colorness of it like it looks like it used to be really vibrant but it's not anymore like that, that's what I love about this specific tone. Yeah. Awesome. So we're going to work with that, play with that some more. Um, yeah, I'm going to go get some more of it and dye some myself because it's going to take a while to get all of it. But I think that's what we'll use for that. I think with this one, though, we're going to go back to like a white terracotta because that has like a pinkish tone to it, but it still looks very faded. Um... And the next thing I need to pull is the next house after that. But let's get these done. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to go and add, like, more to that to make it not look so flimsy. Even if it's, like, just trap doors on parts of it so it looks like it's connecting it to the rest of it. But we will see. And I'm going to sleep real quick and get back to y'all once I have figured out what I'm doing with it. So I will be right back. After much chaos, computer crashing, game crashing, and other things, we are back at it. I'd have given up on training with villagers for the time being until I can figure out why they are crashing my game. But it looks so cool. I added those windows in when I came back from there. But it's it's starting to feel alive, and I love it. Um, definitely going to have to do something with this island after I get the rest of this island I'm already working on done. Looks really cool from afar. But we got some more terracotta. I have been playing with the bees, as you can see. I got a thing. Um, but it's coming together. I definitely want to, on different parts of the dock, have like ladders that help you get up and down. Because I jumped off this side. Realized that I had to then swim past my little friend over there so I wouldn't die. I'm definitely going to have to come back through and put like some sort of trap doors with ladders on them. So you can climb up and it looks like some sort of easily moved attachment point i'm just gonna have a collection of boats over here because i forget they're here um yeah still need to come detail that some more but i did go get some more terracotta enough so that i think i can finish the one house and we're gonna get that done and then i'll get the other one put together real quick like i so far with this whoop, the current one I did the purple for this first part, so it looks like they painted it differently, or that was the initial part, and they constructed the rest of it after. 
So it looks like this currently. I have this wall just so it has a different color to it. And then this room, which I will add a staircase over here soon-ish so that I can get up to the next floor. Or I put a ladder in here. I'm not sure which. I'm going to figure that out once I get the shape in. And then I will figure out how to get and traverse around the floors of the house. But it's starting to come together. This island is starting to feel more alive. And I'm excited about that. So I'm going to keep working. And I will show you all what we come up with. Alrighty. So it has no windows. It has no detail. But there is a shape. The roof is real wonky and I love it. But. We got a building. Let's jump in the water and take a look at it from out here. I think it looks pretty good. It looks real wonky. It looks like it's been through a lot of storms. I think, I think it looks pretty good. It definitely looks like there was something here before. I think I'm going to go through with some extra dark oak slabs and make it look like there was a roof in here. Like some little hanging bits. So it looks like it's not consistently a thing, but I do need to go through and spawn proof this roof as well as the roof on the other house. With this one in particular though, I decided that I wanted to make it so you could access the roof. So this ladder goes all the way up to this lovely little trap door where you can pop out and be on the roof. So I think that's pretty nifty. Obviously you can't access this roof. I mean, I might put like a window in. I could put a tall window in. Then again, that is a pretty high up on the wall, but I think it looks pretty good. So we're going to go work on the other one and see where that gets us out. Um, yeah, I like that I use the logs there to make like a division point. It does add a little extra texture to it. I am going to once again, like the other one over there, sit down and do a lot of exterior texture with it eventually. Mind you, not right now, but I think it looks pretty good. So let's get this other one done and then I'm gonna see what else we can get done. Hello folks and welcome back. It has been a hot minute since I've actually gotten to record because I crashed this world too many times because cartographers are apparently illegal on my world. But it's fine. I promise you it's fine. So I got a little bit downheartened by that. Kind of gave up on getting the video posted on time last week. So it's coming out this week. So... Let me show you what I've gotten done since then. I've done a fair amount of building. I've done some other stuff, but it's better for me to just show you. So as you saw in an earlier clip, the lighthouse is finished, or at least that part is. I will start the next part of it next time. This one got a couple bits of detailing on it. Not too, too much, but it's there. Um, I did come through and add a little bit more of texturing on this and then a couple other spots around the dock. Actually, let's go ahead and do the dock first. I'll show you the dock. I'm still working on some other bits and bobs for it because like this side needs texturing but i'm definitely going to work the dark oak in but now i have little points that i can get in and out at easily that look like they belong there and i was not aware that ladders waterlogged so this just looks real cool and i love it definitely going to put more trap doors and spots where i can put it so that it flushes to it which i think is nice but those are the two new wonky huts so, quick summary. Oh, ignore the floating beehive. I need to relocate that. Um, but they are wonky. They are goofy. This one is my favorite. I love the little out point spot that sticks out. Super cute in my opinion. I think the textures work well. I did make this weird little connection point. Um, I did have a friend also suggest I should put a bridge connecting them because the reason they're up on stilts is the tides get really high down here and so it floods. So like, I'm going to move these bees up to like greenery spots that are attached to these things or greenery patches up by that one over there. So like that's the plan with those guys. Um, but yeah, so I think that if I'm gonna put a bridge in, it's gonna be from like this corner, oh, hello, or this corner to this little door window thing I've put in. Do not worry, nothing happened to the guy that came with these guys. Now they, they were just like this, it's fine. Don't question it. Um, but I like these. They're kind of silly, kind of goofy. I think it's fitting of the area with how wonky they are. But, like, this will be a clothesline is the intention. So, like, I'll come back with banners and stuff and have things hanging off of them. And make it look all schnazzy. Um, so that's what that is. Oop, down, please. 
So I've gotten those done. We obviously had to do a bunch of farming to get there. I did a little bit of exploring just because I realized I haven't seen 90% of this world. Like, I literally have only explored from, like, that way to that way in this direction and not even all of it. So I went out that way a little bit. I swung around here. There's, like, a swamp just over there and another one, like, right over there. And I found, like, a drown thing or a drown, the drown whatever those guys are called, where the drown spawn. Um, and that was just in one of the chests, and I got this fishing rod, which, speaking of, I do intend to... There's a bee. Oh, no. I'm gonna have to reboat him. Um, but I was intending to make a goofy little raft out there that it looks like he's trapped on, so, like, he'll be in the boat still. But there'll be a collection of, like, sad shipwreck raft floating out there that he's trapped in so that I don't have to worry about him accidentally exploding if I get too close. But I want to keep him, so that's the deal. I really need to turn off um, Enderman griefing. But yeah, so that's the current plan around here. I am going to try and finish that. I think next time we are recording, so hopefully for next week's video, we are going to go to the end and go fight the dragon. Where are these bees going? Hmm. But we're going to try and get to the end, go fight some dragons so that we can get an elytra because I would like to be able to fly around here and explore more in addition to the fact that that means I will need to build a mob farm. But I'm going to experiment with possibly having one that's like underground-ish so that I can have a lot of other ooh, hello options for hiding it and building over it to make it look nice so I'm not building a massive industrial area. That just doesn't look pretty because I want this world to be pretty. So let's go take a peek up here because I haven't shown you what it looks like from up here yet. I think that's pretty cool in my opinion. But I have also spent a fair amount of time fighting and wrestling with our villagers again to get some more guys. I now have a silk touch villager. I now have, I think, I think I got respiration. I got a couple other villagers. The boat collection glow grows. But this house looks pretty nifty. I need to spawn proof the roofs of both or all of these so that I don't end up with creepers on them or something. But I think the island is coming out quite nicely. Like I'm gonna plant a couple more dark oak trees, chop them down, replant them, like get a collection of dark oak, and then take out almost all of these naturally occurring trees and terraform this entire landscape to make it look like something that's constantly being beaten by waves and is worn down. And then I'm going to build some taller trees that look like they've just somehow managed to adapt and survive the constantly changing tides. The next thing on the project list for build-wise is I want to build basically rival cities that are living on these different cliff faces. And this is just the awkward in-between spot where like they'll come and dock and meet in between. So that's super fun. I'm also going to build a little shack on this island because why not? It looks like it needs one. But that's about everything that's happened here. Um, I did find another guardian temple because like there's the one there. There's two out that way. There's a fourth one over there. And I think that I found the other one that's over in this direction. There are a lot of them. I'm definitely going to have to loot them for gold later on. Um, but next week we are going to fight the dragon because I want wings and shulkers. It's, it's, it's a lot of work running back and forth. Um... But yeah, so that's about everything for this week. Let me know what y'all thought down in the comments. Have any suggestions? If you have a suggestion for a redstone tutorial that could possibly make lighting fit in this small of a space up here, let me know. I'd love to hear about it. Otherwise, remember to drink some water and I will see you guys next week.